Oh, looky here. The trellis is a going up. Absolutely. I got to get another one, by the way. So don't let me forget that, folks. I've got to get another trellis. Hey, last weekend, it was way too wet to try to plant, even though we've got a wonderful place now to plant. Uh, it was too wet to run the, the tractor and the tiller and stuff into the garden. And after looking at the weather for this weekend, it looked like it was going to be, well, it didn't, It yeah, it did look like it was going to be way too wet. And I can tell you ahead of time that uh, it is way too wet now to get the tractor in there. So my dad did me a solid and uh, ran the tractor down there and tilled it up throughout the week. And I want to say thanks, Pop. I appreciate that. You got me out of a bind. And then when I got home, all that was left to do was uh, start healing up the garden while the master gardener threw the plants in the holes. And that's what we done one evening here. And I'm glad that we did because uh, as I record this overdub, it's way too wet to do anything out there now. And the plants that uh, the master gardener has been babying, some of those were starting to get root bound. So we had to get something in the ground or she was actually going to uh, plant them in the mud, I think. I'm pretty sure she was planting this weekend, whether anybody liked it or not. But that's just kind of how it goes around here in Arkansas. Our planting season, you know, everybody's planting season is early spring, but early spring for us around here is our rainy season. It seems to rain about every third day. But we got them in. And uh, we've got a few issues that we're going to have to work out. Some kinks. i got, a, you know, some roots and rocks and things that need to be kicked out. And I'm hoping this rain actually helps, you know, uh, pack it down and wash the dirt off some of the rocks where I can see them a little bit better. And then I can start throwing them out and putting them in the tractor bucket and wheeling them out and all that good stuff. Now, we're going to have a few issues uh, that we've already come across, but uh, we're going to get them worked out. Like I said, we don't know if this garden is going to be here permanent or if we're going to make it a little bigger, maybe a little smaller, you know, maybe in a different place. We are just we are so tickled that we're going to have sunshine now. That's going to be the main thing because you got to have water, got to have sunshine to have a good garden. And that's what we're going to try to do this year is have a good, good garden. So, hey, I'll come back at the end of the video. You folks enjoy your, enjoy the video, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. Bye-bye.
Hey folks, sometimes when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you run across a diamond. You know what I'm saying? You run across something special, and that's Foothills Fine Foods. This little place, don't get to eat here often because it's pretty good ways from the house, but when I'm working in this area, I actually stop here at least once or twice the week I'm over here. And it is delicious. And these girls are such sweethearts. And I'll show you their menu. And that's Foothills fine foods right here in Calamine, Arkansas. And like I said, it's a wonderful place. They've got a little seating area inside now. They just put that uh, in. I haven't been inside to eat. I'm usually running when I'm over here, so just pick up some lunch and take it back and eat. But oh, it is delicious. Woo! Well, the rains are here. It's just kind of what I figured. Which is why I went ahead and tried to rush and get the as much of the garden done as we could before the rain got here. Because it's probably going to be like this all weekend. I'll give you an idea what the master gardener got done today. So we got tomatoes with uh, basil in between them. There's a couple here that aren't planted. And the reason they're not planted is I think we're going to put another, another arch right here. So that one needs to go on the arch. And that pepper plant over there still got to be planted. But yeah, looks like we're going to have tomatoes. Eggplant down there on the end. Uh, peppers. And then we're probably going to go with... Uh, uh, cucumbers, red onions, and okra. I think we're going to do try to do some okra. So yeah, and we got some arbors or you know whatever you want to call them, uh, trellises for things to go on. And we're going to throw a few flowers in there, probably some dianthus and things like that for the bumblebees. But. It's raining, so there'll probably be no more, unless you just want to play in the mud. You don't want to plant stuff in the mud. But luckily, you know, we uh, pulled ourselves up by our bootstraps, I guess you could say, and really got after it the last two days to hustle up, get that stuff in the ground before the rains got here. And for the most part, it worked. It worked. The master gardener did a great job. And if you look over here, the peas are full of blooms. Yep, the peas are full of blooms. And we'll start the little kitchen garden here. Whew, once the peas get done, I don't know what we'll do. Uh, whatever she wants to do, I can tell you that. But uh, once the peas get done, we'll pull the peas out. And I don't know if we're just going to make this a, a flower garden. Or uh, I, I just don't know what we'll end up doing. The soil is too good to just not do nothing. So I don't know. We'll probably move some stuff out into the, the big garden. And just plant a few things here. I, I don't know. Whatever she wants to do, though, I promise you that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Y'all get out of the camera.
crazy kids. What y'all doing? Don't get in that garden. Hey, get out of that garden. Boy, that's the other thing we are going to end up having to do. Out here playing in the rain like a bunch of fools. We're probably going to end up having to put an ugly fence around it. Some of that construction fence. Uh, that's the, the two main things that... Uh, the two main things that I'm, I know we're going to have issues with and that's the chickens and the cats and the dogs getting in there mainly the chickens uh, pecking the fruit and all and the vegetables and stuff so we'll probably end up having to put some a little bit of construction fence around it and the other thing is is with it being a <clears throat> an emergency kind of situation to where uh, we had all these plants and they wouldn't fit in our little bitty garden and we had the room now to throw up a garden you know, I don't know if that's going to be our forever garden there or not. We might have to move it, make it a little bigger, change it, do it a little bit different. But uh, we didn't put any type of weed barrier down. <clears throat> so I know we're going to have big issues with grass. But when we do decide, and if we decide that that's where we want it for next year, we'll definitely get some kind of weed barrier. But yeah, hey, I'm going to go try to do some editing. See if I can get some video out. I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, hey, I hope you folks got all your stuff in the ground. Because if you didn't, don't look like you're going to be able to get it in the ground this weekend. Uh, maybe next weekend you can. I don't know. But uh, get it in the ground as quick as you can. I think it's time. I'm pretty sure Black Bear Winter's all but over. And uh, most all your seeds need to be in the ground. So good luck to you. Stay safe and healthy and have fun with that garden. And come back and see us right here at Little Nuts Farm. Bye-bye.